Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno from the BTN HD. And yes, upgrading your Server 2012 R2 to the latest and greatest operating system, and that's Server 2016. Uh, what I'm using right now is Server 2016 Technical Preview 5 to do the upgrade process. So right now, my Server 2012 R2 has uh, Active Directory. We have Active Directory right here. We have uh, BJ Dash Test V2, which is part of the Active Directory. So let's right click on this machine. Let's go to System. And within System right here, we are part of our Active Directory, which my Active Directory is btnhe.edu. And this uh, computer also running DHCP, it's providing an IP address to this machine right here. So if I right click on the Start and go to Command Prompt, and I do an IP config. There's the IP address. And I'm going to show you guys if I right click on this little guy right here and open the network and sharing. Click on change adaptive settings. I right click on my NIC, go to properties, and I go into the IPv4 right here. It's automatically getting an IP address and it's automatically getting the DNS from my DACP, right? I don't want you guys to think that I actually hardwired this stuff up to make it work, okay? So. My DACP is working, which is awesome. It's always a good thing. And I'm also running uh, DNS. Okay, so let's close this up. I'm going to close my Active Directory, and I'm also running DNS. I only have two records. I have my domain controller, a record, and I have my BJ-TestV2, a record. Okay, so it looks like this entire environment is working, but let's upgrade it. So the couple of things that we need to do to upgrade it. First, you get yourself a copy of the ISO which I'm going to right click on my virtual machine, go to settings, and I'm going to mount the ISO up. So we're going to browse up and we are going to go to IO. So, and uh, there it goes. Server 2016 TP version five, right there. We're going to double click on that and we're going to click OK to run it. It should run automatically. Here it goes, D drive, click on that. We're going to run the setup. And uh, once it runs the setup, it's going to give you two errors. But I want to show you guys the two errors uh, because they're really easy. One is just uh, confirmation. And the other one, you actually have to, like, do something to prep it up. So it says download, install, updates recommended. This is really up to you if you want to do it. For this lab, in this video, I'm not going to do it right now. So say not right now and click next. It's checking your PC. Uh, it's making sure the PC has all the core requirements to continue the upgrade. If it's if it doesn't, it's going to give you a nice little summary of what you need to do to make it work. Okay, you're probably going to get prompt for the product key. Again, this is the technical preview one. They do provide you a serial number to test this thing out. It's not a fully blown serial number that you could use it forever, but there's a site that I'm going to place at the bottom of the description. Again, this is a serial key only to test out the ISO. It's not really to do for production. So we're going to paste it in there. It's checking this key. And then once you get that, your product key work, continue, you're ready. We're going to click on next. Uh, you're going to pick the version that you want. I want to get the desktop experience one. So we're going to click on next on that. We're going to accept. You have two choices. Keep personal files and app or everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings. Now, remember, we have DHCP, we have DNS, we have Active Directory. So I want to keep that stuff. So we're going to do keep personal files and apps and click on next. Now it's doing one finalize, making sure that it's ready to install. And I think this is where I'm going to get those two little warnings uh, that I need to do before it continues. Okay, so you're going to get two warnings. One is you need to confirm all this information before you upgrade, which is a simple one. And the other one is you need to run AD prep forest prep within your domain controller. So let's do this one. And we are going to go inside our Fire Explorer. We need to get inside the ISO of our 2016 because uh, we need to run the SIP prep using that one. So we're going to open that up. We're going to go to support, AD prep. I'm going to go back one time and I'm going to hold the shift key, right click. And I want to do is open a command window here. Awesome. Okay, so the first thing that I did, I know we need to do a forest prep, but you also need to do a domain prep as well. So let's do an AD prep, forest slash forest prep to do that core requirement it needs. 
And it says, uh, and press enter to continue. Otherwise, type any key and press enter to. Okay. So we are going to do C. And it's upgrading. Everything is successful. Awesome. It looks like everything is being upgraded. Awesome. We're done on that part. And the next thing that we need to do is AD prep. Even though they didn't tell us to do it, but I want to do it anyway. Domain prep. Hit enter. Awesome. Cool. So we're going to exit out of this command prompt. We're going to exit out of here. We're going to confirm this. We're going to do a refresh. Okay. So once you fix those two problems, once you do the forest prep or domain prep, those are the ones that I did, and you confirm that little dialog box that they uh, gave you, it's going to say ready to install. So let's click install. And right now it's a waiting game. So get a cup of coffee or get something to snack on because this process takes forever. Once it's completed, we're going to log into our BJ Dash upgrade me um, machine. Remember, this machine is still part of the Active Directory. I'm logged in as an administrator. But once this machine is upgraded, I'm going to create another account and log into this machine using that new account to see if everything works out with no problem. And I catch you guys once this is completed. All right, guys, it looks like our upgrade has uh, finished. So let's log into the machine. I automatically, it looks like I need to reinstall my VM tools. So let's log into our new uh, server. How exciting this is. This is pretty cool. Uh, right now, it's preparing Windows for the very first time. Again, we upgraded our server 2012 R2 uh, Active Directory domain controller, DHCP, and DNS server uh, into Windows Server 2016. Again, I'm using Technical Preview 5. It should be the same approach for the other versions that are going to come out with 2016. Okay, so let's get into my Active Directory. And within my Active Directory, it looks like everything is okay. D uh, let's get into my DHCP. Everything is green there, DNS. It looks like everything is kind of somewhat working. But let's uh, let's go inside our user OU. Let's right click here. Let's go to new. Let's go to user. Let's create a new user. Let's call it YouTube. And it's going to be YouTube. There it goes. And next. So we're going to assign in a password to it. Awesome. Uh, let's check password never expires and next and finish. Awesome. So let's go back inside our BJ dash test V2. Again, this machine is the only machine that I have within my active directory. And I am going to kind of log off out of here. Let's uh, log off or sign out. And let's log into this account. So let's log into YouTube and put the password. Hopefully, I'm able to log into this machine using this account. If I'm able to log in, that means Active Directory is working with no problem. I do see that my DHCP is still pushing out the IP address right here. Let's go into my IPv4 my scope and there goes that machine still has 200 awesome it's still leased to 200 and it looks like I am logging into the new uh, account which is awesome that means my active directory is working with the upgrade with no problem awesome again guys hopefully you guys enjoy this video I think the only thing that I need to do in my part is upgrade my VM tools um within the new environment and uh, again leave comments right below don't forget about hitting that like button and don't forget to subscribe and i catch you guys on the next video peace out